Hey there everybody, how's it going? This is Iridium117 here giving you a video tutorial on how to set up your Xbox 360 or Xbox One controller for PSU Clementine. Um, I would like to say you can also use a PlayStation controller because of just how it's set up. I have not tested it because I do not own one. However, based on how it works, I'm 95% sure it's gonna work. That being said, let's get started with this. Now as well, I would like to throw out there that there is this, there is this wonderful person named, or is he Bando Boy right here, that also created a tutorial on this for you to be able to read through if it's a little bit easier or you want to double check from a second source. Um, I had this set up well before Clementine went dark for a while, but this is pretty much the exact same thing. I'm just creating a video tutorial just to make things a little easier. Anyways, first off, what you are going to need is X Input Plus, just like he says here. You are going to get it. You can click on this link here. I will have a link in the description below, but it's gonna bring you here. You're gonna right click. You are going to download and put it wherever the heck you feel like putting it. Mine obviously goes right into my downloads folder. And I take this bad boy, create a folder, Wherever you feel like, I'm just gonna put it on the desktop for the sake of this video. If it wouldn't hide it, ah, screw it, we can just do new folder, why the heck not? Oh man, I have not organized this, have I? Zoop. We're gonna take this, we're gonna go like this, like this, we're gonna go like this, and bam, extract it, okay? Then you're gonna run this wonderful program, X, X Input Plus. Now, what this does is that uh, essentially, PSU, back when it was, you know, out in 2007, utilized direct input, not X input. This program translates the X input, i.e. your trigger sticks and whatnot, whatnot, into direct input so the game can detect it properly. Um, now, first, before you continue from here, what I suggest is you go ahead and go through, make sure everything's working. Okay, if you have a dead zone, you know, if you stick, and you can see here, it doesn't like to, you know, it doesn't like to stay put there. I strongly recommend increasing the dead zone just a little bit so you don't have your character just walking all willy-nilly. Mine, I like to set mine for 20 because, well, it's an older controller. Same thing with the right stick. Make sure it's working, make sure it sees it. Increase the dead zone, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure you guys get all that, but if you don't, the dead, if you don't know what the dead zone is, essentially it's it's you push it a certain percentage, and if you look between the green dot and the red dot, the green dot is what's actually seeing, the red dot is what the computer is actually sending. So actually, wow, I don't even need 20%, do I? I just need about 10. Anyways, either way, it's a good idea to do that because you know things happen, wear and tear, blah blah blah. You you, you get the gist. Anyways, make sure they all work. Make sure the program detects it. I mean, it's not exactly rocket science. I'm sure you'd love to hear that in your ear. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, there's all your buttons, which I could have sworn it lights up whenever I hit the buttons, but apparently I am wrong. All right, that's the, uh, yeah, anyways. Continuing on. So you're gonna go over here. You're gonna click on Enable Direct Input Output tongue twister there. You're going to set your right stick for Z-axis Z-rotation, not Z-rotation Z-axis, or you're going to be looking left and right by pushing up and down, and that might be a little disorienting. Then you're going to set your left trigger for 12 and 13. Now, if you do read that guide that I showed you, he has you set for 11 and 12. There's nothing wrong with that. I prefer 12 and 13 simply because if I want to set my guide button to something, I can. Just something to keep in mind. Once you have all this set, you're gonna go up here, you're gonna click select. Then, now mine happens to pop up to the PSU default directory, which happens to be under Sega. They ignore all this stuff, don't worry about it. <laughs> but anyways, you're gonna go here, you're gonna find PSU-C. Double click on that bad boy, it's gonna lock it up there. And once you have this set, you're gonna hit apply. It's gonna pop up and say, are you sure? Okay, yes, we are sure. Now, when it does that, it's gonna create these two files right here. These guys, that's gonna be your X input. That is gonna to talk to PSU and say, hey, listen to me, I've got things for you. <laughs> Anyways, 
It's successful. Whoop de doo. You can hit quit. It's just a background program. It does not need to be running. It's just there to set settings. Okay, next you're going to go on over here, open up the launcher, the new launcher, and you're going to go into options. Now, ignore all this stuff. These are my personal settings. I got the graphics turned up. Yeah, yeah, anyways. You're going <laughs> to you're going to go over here to game bad settings. Click on that boy and you hear that ding? That ding is actually designed by X input to let you know that it has talked to the game and is ready to rock and roll. If you do not hear that ding, I am 98% sure that it did not work. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna click on default pattern two. That's gonna be your Xbox setup, at least for starters. It's a good idea to go in here. If you double click that, and you start pushing buttons, it'll actually switch. So in this case, that one's A. Cancel is going to be B, normal attack is going to be X, strike, you know, skill is going to be Y, lock on camera is going to be your left bumper, switch is going to be your right bumper. Now page left, you want your left trigger, which ha for me happens to be button 12, and your right trigger for page right, button 13. Those are going to be pretty handy for you, especially in combat, because they're not just simply for chat, but you can also hold B and navigate through your palette, which is pretty useful. Now, first, we're going to camera is already set to 10. I like to go to the original controls. All right, never mind. That is already set up. I forgot. Main menu. That one's running. Right main menu should be start. That's the one that it is. Clicking in. There it is. <laughs> Don't mind me, guys. I totally know what I'm doing. Uh, the change character info display was, also, was always right click, which is what I just switched it to. Don't worry about the arrow keys. That's already default with the D-pad, but this right here, this is the important part. You want this for Z-axis and Z-axis rotation in that order. Now, if you're worried about questioning me because I clearly don't know what the heck I'm talking about, an easy way is to go in here and push right for left and right, or I'm sorry, the first one that says left, just to make sure it says Z-axis. And this one you're gonna push up. If I push left, see it switches to Z axis. We want to make sure it's set properly. And bam, there you are. You are set for the original Xbox controls when it was on 360. As simple as that. Now, of course, you can change any of these to whatever you want, but this is what gets you to the beginning. You may want to make sure you click enter because if you hit cancel, you have to do it all over again. Same thing here, hit enter. And wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. I'm not sure why it opened this here but you are good to go. Now, I would also like to point out that someone here, oh, I missed it, where did it go? Here, let me navigate over here. Someone else also decided to have the Xbox 360 user interface. Why don't you look at that? That can come in real handy because normally these are up, down, left, right, all that fun stuff, and it gets a little bit confusing. This says Z. This little patch, thanks to Parallaxed, or no, uh, I think he puts credit to someone else. Yeah, Parallax. then uh, yeah, it'll be good to go. Well, there you go, everybody. There's the guide to getting this set up and ready to play with your controller. And uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you guys on Clementine. Later.